हेलो मेरे दोस्तों उम्मीद है आप सब लोग खैरियत से होंगे मेरे दोस्त जैसा कि आप सब लोगों को पता है कि पुर्चुगाल यूरोप के हवाले से आ, मैं आपको शंजन के हवाले से मैं आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन देता रहता हूं एवरी टाइम और आपको ये बात भी पता है कि मैंने अभी कुछ दिनों पहले कुछ आ, मेरे अरसलान भाई और एक दो लोगों की जो वीडियो डाली थी असैलम को लेकर तो मेरे बहुत सारे एशियन लोगों ने भाइयों ने मुझसे सवाल किया कि पुर्चुगाल में असैलम होता ही नहीं है बहुत सारे लोग मुझसे ये बात कर रहे थे क्योंकि वो हम एशियन लोगों पर ट्रस्ट नहीं करते वो ये बातें मुझसे कर रहे थे कि जो भी बातें अरसलान भाई ने की या इसके अलावा दो तीन मेरे और दोस्तों ने की तो वो फेक हैं तो इसीलिए मैंने अपनी एक बहुत अच्छी दोस्त जिनका नाम एरिका है मैं आपको इनके घर लेकर आया हूँ यहाँ पर इनके कैंप में लेकर आया हूँ इन्होंने रिसेंटली असाइलम लिया है तो अब मैं आपको इन्हीं के मुँह से सुनवाऊँगा कि पुर्चुगाल में असाइलम होता है कि नहीं और ये लोग क्या मरात देते हैं मरात से मतलब क्या फैसिलिटेट करते हैं कितना पैसा देते हैं और इसका प्रोसीजर क्या होता है हाय माय फ्रेंड हाउ यू डूइंग हेलो आई एम डूइंग ऑल राइट थैंक यू वेरी नाइस वन मोर थिंग माय फ्रेंड्स आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट शी इज़ फ्रॉम ब्राज़ील एंड एज़ यू नो द ब्राज़ीलियन पीपल आर वेरी नाइस वेरी हम्बल वेरी डिसेंट पीपल बिकॉज आई हैव सो मैनी ब्राज़ीलियन फ्रेंड्स हेयर सिंस आई एम हेयर सिंस वन ईयर आई एम हेयर आई हैव गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ ब्राज़ीलियन फ्रेंड्स एंड दे आर वेरी नाइस वेरी सॉफ्ट हार्टेड एंड वेरी हम्बल especially brazilian people so what is the uh, reason behind this what do you think why brazilian people have got the very soft heart i think uh when you grow up in brazil uh you have so many things stacked against you and you have only one another to help you and we have this mix of uh african people from the african diaspora and the natives who just want to survive and uh the people who came from Europe most of them also just wanted to survive oh. not everyone who was in Brazil was a colonizer so i think it built a nation of people who want to help one another mostly that's great uh my friend i one more thing i want to tell you that uh, uh my friend her, her name is arika she i i, I told you before that she is from uh, brazil and she is journalist exactly Yeah yeah. Yeah, she is journalist over there and she is very nice humble. So uh Erika, I want to know about my people's want to know about uh the procedure of asylum here in Portugal. You are in Portugal right now. You apply for the asylum. So they give you a house recently and what how much money they are paying uh on asylum? Uh they give you accommodations in my case, I can't say for every one every case, but I have a room and i have access to water and light which is good and they give me around 150 euro every month which help me uh, to buy food and water and uh, other stuff which helps a lot that's great and what do you think about uh, the you know camp the accommodation is fine or you happy with that or some kind of problem with I think uh given the situation it's excellent is way better than I expected it would be when I uh when I decided to become an asylum seeker I thought I was going to have one room that I would share with like eight people I didn't expect to have a, a good room with an a bed and other families would have their own rooms exactly yes yeah. and uh do you think 150 euro they are paying you monthly is enough for a whole month for a single person for a single person i think it is uh, good enough if you know how to uh handle your money if you know that you should buy food to cook instead of order food or uh, go eat in the restaurants it is yes, yes. Uh, that's great one more thing i want to ask you that brazil is very nice and beautiful country and i told you that there is very big human rights over there i think there's a b- better than from my country uh brazil is a big name because if you have got the brazilian passport you don't need to get the visa of schengen countries is it uh you can without a visa you can stay for 90 days right. in in uh the schengen area of exactly. of europe but uh i would say that's more related to how do i say this you still have to be have a lot of money to do that exactly Okay. Uh, for example i uh i do not come from a rich family so i c- i would never be able to afford coming here with, with just by as a tourist that's great thank you uh one more question i'm going to uh, bit personal as well what is the reason behind you g- you are getting asylum over here you apply for the asylum here is there any story behind this well 
Uh, Brazil is a really complicated place. As I said, I love my country and I love my people. And most of Brazilians just want to help one another. But at the same time, it's a really difficult place for trans people specifically. For all queer LGBT people, but specifically for trans people. Okay. Uh, and Portugal is on top 10 the best countries for for uh, LGBT people to live in Europe so it was a big factor in my decision so that's right because Portugal is very beautiful as well and you know the same condition in my country as well because you know um, in the gays they are they sometimes they kill the gays as well because you know there is no kind of human rights in my country same like you know brazil and pakistan is normally now before i was thinking that the brazil is a diff- uh, little bit different because you know p- people have got the freedom to do anything there but now i understand that the similarity of pakistan and uh, brazil is almost same now yeah. yeah it's someone once said that there are two brazils there is the brazil that the rich people live in which is this beautiful country with tourists and a lot of beautiful things for you to do and see and etc uh and there is the country that is dirty and it smells weird and the sewers on the ground and there's bullets everywhere and more people die every month in brazil than in some areas where there are actual wars happening uh and this is not the image of brazil that they want to sell outside and i completely understand that but at the same time it is the place that exists yes exactly and one more thing i want to ask you my people that uh you're from brazil and i'm sure your asylum gonna be approved soon because you have got very strong case and you know uh, portugal giving you uh, 150 on a month but if you go to the germany to the switzerland to other big country mm-hmm. they'll pay you more mm-hmm. right maybe 400 maybe 450 for a month so why why only you choose portugal because they are not paying you much more money i think money is not everything if the money that portugal uh gives me to aid me is enough for me to sustain myself while i search for a job uh that's enough for me i would much rather live in a country that i can express myself and go in the street without anyone attacking me uh, that i feel safe going outside that i know I can frequent the same spaces as everyone. I, I can walk out the night in the street without uh, fearing that someone will attack me. I will choose that country over others. That's great. And one more thing I want to ask you, Arika. If you go out like this, mm-hmm. so people notice you? I mean, or they are just fine with like Brazil. Um, if you go like this, mm-hmm. yeah, with the long hair, the half shave, mm-hmm. uh, and with the lipstick, if you go out in Brazil, they, they hurt you something like? Uh, it, in Brazil? Yes, in Brazil. Yeah. Yeah, in Brazil, yes. It depends uh, of the people and of the place you are, of course. There are places that are, let's say, ghettos for LGBT people. Si. It's spaces where everyone say that's the spaces of the queer people. Okay. So, But, uh, for instance, shopping malls, shopping centers are uh, places where it's more nebulous when I try to go to the toilet and I'm not even saying when I have half a beer when I have no beard and I'm full makeup I'm full femme I go to the bathroom uh, there will be someone asking a uh, security staff to remove me from the bathroom by by force if needed Uh, there are people who will scream and shout me in the streets and some of them will try to attack me physically oh same like my country because the same situation is my in my country and what about in portugal they mm. noticed you yeah they notice me but they keep it to themselves oh. if they have any prejudice if they have any bigotry towards me as a trans person it's not something they put outside See. they seem very aware that uh whatever they believe is what they believe I'm not I'm not doing anything wrong I'm not committing any crimes so there is no reason for them to treat me differently wow very nice तो मेरे दोस्तों पुर्तगाल के हवाले से मैंने आज आपको अरिका का इंटरव्यू भी इसलिए दिखाया कि यहाँ पर अगर जो लोग ऐसे हैं जो कि मिड में हैं ना ही में ना शी में तो उनके लिए भी बहुत ज़्यादा सॉफ्ट कॉर्नर रखा जाता है उन पर होट नहीं किया जाता जिस तरह ब्राज़ील में जिस तरह पाकिस्तान में इन लोगों पर होटिंग की जाती है इनको मारा जाता है पत्थरों से और इनका मजाक उड़ाया जाता है सिग्नलों पर तो यहाँ पुर्तगाल में आपको ये चीज़ भी नहीं मिलेगी अब मेरे इस इंटरव्यू से आपको दो चीज़ें क्लियर हो गई कि यस जो लोग लोगों के 
मैंने इंटरव्यू किए यहाँ पुर्तगाल में असैलम के हवाले से वो बिल्कुल सच हैं इसलिए क्योंकि अरिका ने भी ये सारी बातें क्लियर कर दी हैं कि इसको कितना मंथ मिल रहा है यहाँ पे इनको अकोमोडेशन दी हुई है पहले दिन से ये सारी बातें यहाँ सच्ची हो गई दूसरा मेरी इस वीडियो का मकसद एक ये भी था कि जो भी लोग पाकिस्तान इंडिया बांग्लादेश से जिनको वहाँ पर प्रॉब्लम है और वो इस तबके से ताल्लुक रखते हैं जो कि दरमियाने हैं तो वो यहाँ पर आके बहुत आज़ादाना अपनी ज़िंदगी गुजार सकते हैं बगैर किसी परेशानी के इन पर कोई होटिंग नहीं की जाएगी कोई पत्थर नहीं मारा जाएगा इन्हें कोई नोटिस नहीं किया जाएगा अपना बहुत ख्याल रखें मेरे दोस्तों और इन नई वीडियो में आप लोगों के सामने हाजिर होंगे अपना ख्याल रखिए थैंक यू वुड यू लाइक टू से समथिंग टू माई व्यूअर्स थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग टू माई स्टोरी एंड नेवर लूज होप वी विल फिक्स द वर्ल्ड एंड इट विल बी अ लवली प्लेस फॉर एवरी वन टू लिव इन थैंक यू मेरे दोस्तों अपना ख्याल रखें अल्लाह हाफिज़